Hey, hey, my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you're here. Uh, I can't say enough about you guys. You guys are awesome. So if you're visiting the channel again from watching an old video, let me first say thank you for dealing with all of the mess that was the last video the sound, uh, the music, whatever. We're new here, we're trying to learn. You'll learn real quickly that I subscribe to the done is better than perfect. So sometimes you'll see some stuff on this channel that you're gonna be like, girl, you should have did that over, but I probably won't <laughs> because that's just the kind of girl I am. But anywho, today we're gonna be talking all about what to expect after you sign the contract on your new construction home. We have just got to actually building our house, uh, getting prepared for foundation. And it's been a long road. We've been on a contract since April. And there's some things that I wish I would have known in this process. So today I'm gonna share with you what you can expect in particularly with our builder um, because there's phases to this and in those phases it may feel like nothing is happening but I promise you there's some work going on behind the scenes and today we're going to talk about exactly what those expectations are and what you should be uh, looking for after you sign your new construction contract. Uh, before we get into today's video though I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse of some update and some progress that we have going on over on our lot and then when we come back we will hop in and have a short little conversation let's hop into today's video Taking some risks today. Get some stuff on camera for y'all. Cause I really want you to see how high these form boards are. Now what you're looking at <coughs> is the form boards that they use to form the foundation of your house. And this stuff is crazy. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. I guess I can see where I'm going. Shit. Excuse me for cussing kids. This is usually a family friendly show. Oh! I did it. I did it. Look at this. This is crazy. Like those bags are what's making our foundation be a standard height. It's crazy, like it's taller than me. It's taller than me. This is bananas. Let me see if I can walk back up this camp. Cause this is about all that's happened this week. They've been chopping away at trying to get this land even. Ew. Crazy. Y'all, this backyard is ridiculous. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so bam, I'm gonna cross over one. This is us on top of the foundation. Ain't that crazy how stuff transforms? Whew. I'm not gonna get on camera today. I'm not feeling the best. All of that I just walked over right here is bags. And I imagine that all of this on this side, except for over there, that's the garage, will be bagged so that it gets to be level. But yep, that's the progress so far. So they said they'll be ready to pour the foundation Bye. The end of the month. So who are we? We're working on securing our um, inspector now 
that's going to do all of the inspections for us. But yeah, this is what we got. So as you can see, the actual house, this is the road. It's so funny. The house that we're in right now, this is going to be loud. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. This little thing right here will be underground. It'll be underground. And it'll be right at the front of the house. And I'm going to show you the house that we're in right now. It's having the foundation work. So look how tall that pole is. And then I'm going to insert pictures of the house that we're in right now where the foundation is being worked on. The very same type of pole. So if that's any indication on how high the house is going to sit up, y'all, this bad boy is going to be massive. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I meant to show you. This walk back really quickly. It's getting real hot and I got to go. If we stand over here on the right, you can see where the house will sit. So our windows will look out to that for now. But no, because this is the living room. Wait, what side is this? Is this the dining room? I don't know. But if we have windows, it'll look out to that for now. But this will kind of be the view to the backyard. It's nice and wooded. Your neighbors can't see you and you can't see them. Just how I like it. All right, it's hot as hell out here, y'all. I'm going home. All right, so you see we've got a little bit of work going on over there on the lot. They've got some of the bags. Uh, they're starting to even out the lot. Y'all, I think our lot just gave them pure H-E-double-L. We sit up a little high, uh, and there's a lot of rock here in the San Antonio, uh, Texas Hill Country area. So they worked for weeks just breaking up the rock that was our lot so that they can start to level it out. So now over the next couple of weeks, they're going to do what's called rough plumbing and uh, doing the work to get to pre-pour so that we can have an inspection before they actually pour the foundation. But today we're going to talk about what to expect in between the time that you sign your contract and get to this point. Because in this season, what I've learned uh, is that there's a lot that goes on and it's a longer time frame. You know, before, years before, you probably could sign a contract and within a couple of months be ready to build your house. But this process is taking a really long time. Some of it's due to COVID. Some of it's due to availability of supplies. But while you're waiting, especially if you just signed, I know you're super excited. Uh, you likely have gone to the design center and you're just like, oh my God, I just have to hurry up and wait. And there's a reason for that. And today we're going to talk about that. Uh, excuse my voice. Last week I was sick. Um, so I'm getting over it. I'm recovering it. I have a little lingering cough. Um, Y'all just pray for your girl. The hubby still ain't feeling the best, but we're going to get through this. All right. So after you sign your contract, we've already talked about you know, they hurry up and get you to the design center. And there's a reason for that. And if you haven't watched my design center video, I'll leave it linked up in the top. You can go back and watch what to expect when you're getting ready to go to the design center. But the reason why they send you to the design center so fast is because when you sign your contract, if you uh, had the ability to actually pick your lot, um, they haven't drawn up your house yet because they didn't know what house was going to be on that lot. So when you purchase your home, when you sign a contract to purchase your home, and you've chosen your lot, you've chosen a floor plan, they actually have to draw that plan up. So we have stages to our build process. Stage zero is all of this stuff that gets you to stage one and stage zero and stage one can take months. So initially you sign your contract, you go to the design center to pick your soft finishes. And while you're doing that, the actual architects for your builder are drawing up your exact floor plans with all of the options that you've chosen. That's why they're like, go ahead, pick your options now. So we know exactly what you want. So they're drawing up everything with your options, your structural options. If you hit, didn't hear me talk about the differences between structural upgrades and design center upgrades, I'll leave that video up here as well. Um, 
Um, but that's why they want you to go ahead and pick those things because they have to draw up your plan. The longer it takes you to pick those things, the longer it's going to take them to draw up your plan. At this point in the process, the city doesn't even know that there are any plans for this particular lot. So your architect is working in the background to draw up your plans. Depending on how many options you choose, it may take a little longer. And then they're going to take those plans, bring them back to you and sit down with you um, during a pre-construction meeting to say, OK, here's what you said you wanted. Here's what we've drawn up. Let's look at where all of your plugs and everything is going to go so we can submit these plans to the city. OK, they have this is so important that you move quickly. And I know it's a lot going on. You're super, super excited and you don't want to make the wrong decision, but you want to move expeditiously to help them move your process along. Because it if you don't, if you take your time during this process and go back and forth and you change this and change that, it's going to delay your process. So go ahead and get decisive uh, in this season and say, OK, this is what we're going to do. Uh, this is what we're going to do and just make those finite decisions so that the architect can get the approval to send them to the city. Now, depending on where you're building, we're in the hill country and things take time. So the city has to actually approve the plan and give them a permit to actually build uh, that can take a little while so if we're talking timing and numbers y'all know I like to give like hard facts I think once we chose our options it was like three weeks in between us signing our contract choosing all our options finalizing what was going on at the design center and getting those drawings back <coughs> excuse me it probably was about a month of that just planning right um, then once we got the planning you do what's called a pre-construction meeting and in that pre-construction meeting you're going to you're going to sit down with the builder and you're going to go through all of the things that you talked with your salesperson about make sure if there's any last minute changes all of those things are going to happen during your pre-construction meeting you'll get an actual depending on your builder i know for our pre-construction meeting they allowed us like we had some options i was like hey i want my pendant lights 12 inches from the inside of the uh, from the outside of the island and i want them spaced at least 12 inches apart so i was able to make those finite decisions and they literally sat there with their ipad and drew it out I want my security camera pre-wires to be in this location. I want my uh, plumbing or my uh, gas range to be here on the outside. All of those things you'll talk about in your pre-construction meeting. This is probably a month or so after you've signed your contract. At least that's how long it took us. Uh, once you have this meeting, then they submit permits to the city and then it's a waiting game so in between that time you may be if you're anything like me you might be driving by your lot driving by your lot trying to see if there's anything going on the likelihood that anything is happening on your lot is probably very very low because they haven't got approval to do anything so depending on your lot you may drive by and there's nothing happening and you might be like, oh, my God, what are they doing? Well, they're waiting on the city to come back and say, yes, you have the approval to build this house this way. You've got the proper amount of space between um, what is it called? The setbacks and stuff. They're all correct. You have the approval to build this piece of property on this land. OK, once they get the approval from the city then they will begin to actually prepare your land, which I think the terms are called grading the land. Our builder, um, because we had a wooded lot, there were some things that they could do before they got the approval for the city. Uh, we had a lot of trees and we had really deep conversations. I won't call them deep, but we had like real heart to hearts with the builder and said, hey, you know, we want to keep as many of the trees as possible. We chose this lot because it's heavily wooded and the trees, especially in the back, are going to provide a certain level of privacy for us. So if you can do anything at all, please see if you can keep the majority of the trees. And if not, we understand, you know, our house has to go there, but do what you can to keep the trees there. And they did. Um, so in between the time of waiting for the permits and after the pre-construction meeting, they marked off the house with like little poles to say, OK, this is where the framing for the house is going to be. And they started to clear the land. So our again, our lot 
it's giving them hell. <laughs> like we drove by there and our neighbors, we've had the opportunity to go and meet all of our neighbors around there. They've been sending us pictures. My poor next door neighbor, I feel so bad for her. She works from home and she said they're just beating and banging, trying to get that rock up. Uh, so our particular land, depending on the elevation of your land, uh, it may take a little while. So they've taken quite a few weeks. I want to say to the tune of like a month and I want to say the city took a couple of months uh, so April to May, May we went to pre-construction, June, July, and it's now August. Um, and they're just about to pour the foundation. So yeah, June and July, May, June and July, we were waiting on the city to approve. Uh, the city probably approved early this month, late, late, late July, early August. And they started actually prepping the lot for the actual foundation. So once they cleared the lot and depending on the complexity of your lot again these time frames may differ for us i believe it's taking a little longer because our lot is a little bit more complex um <coughs> excuse me i'm so sorry for coughing in your ear uh but depending on the complexity of your lot uh, will determine how fast they move for the flatter lots that are in the community those things have been ready for a couple of weeks now uh, but for us I mean lots that we know were purchased after ours were ready before ours and that's because they they were flat it was a piece of flat land so for us they have went and started to grade the land which is what you saw earlier in the video preparing it to level out so that they can come in and do plumbing, uh, which is a process that is going to happen before they actually pour the foundation. They put up what's called form boards, which are those cardboard looking boards that actually lay out the shape of your home uh, and bagging, which I think is it holds some type of dirt or something to help keep the cement for your foundation in place. Um, but all of that is happening before you get to the actual pouring of the foundation. So we're still technically in stage one and we have been there for Four, going on five months April to May May to June June July July to August yeah we've been in this phase going on four months but there's been stuff happening behind the scenes it's just not as fast so what we've been told is that once the foundation is poured it has to cure so it's gonna sit for a couple of weeks with nothing happening and then once it's sat and it's ready then they'll start building that process usually goes a little faster but this beginning part is like a hurry up and wait and unfortunately there could be other delays depending on material availability and stuff like that just because of COVID and you know everything going on with this new strand so um yeah that's what you can expect after you sign your contract there's a number of meetings all of those meetings are going to happen during the week um you know, and it's kind of shocking that they happen that way. You're like, man, why I can't do this on the weekend? Well, I mean, this is business too. So they're handling business. So you're going to have meetings on top of meetings. I'm talking design center meetings, lighting meetings, all of those things that we talked about before. Your pre-construction meeting is a couple of hours. That's going to happen during the day. Uh, and then everything after that is just waiting on the city to say, okay, getting the land prepared and then uh, getting it ready to build your foundation <coughs> excuse me one of the things that I want to point out is that during this time you want to be looking for an inspector uh, we go by the rule of thumb that we're going to inspect at every phase our builder offers inspections at every phase so there'll be a pre-pour inspection if we don't have a professional inspector we're gonna to have to do that well I don't know what I'm looking at I'm not a builder for a house <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me I'm going to hire a professional to go out and do that on my behalf so that they can point out any inadequacies, if any, and communicate with the builder on my behalf to make sure that they're corrected before they actually pour the foundation. Um, there's an inspection during before they close up the sheetrock and then another final inspection. And during this time, while you're waiting, I would say go ahead and find an inspector inspector 
that you can trust that can do all three of those for you. Uh, should you decide to do that that way, that part is off of your hands. You can budget for it because it's not a cost that is going to be um, given back to you. I think the only one is like the final inspection. That's not something that you'll be credited at closing. So those other inspections are going to be your cost. So you want to shop around and see what your budget will allow um, for that inspector. But definitely go ahead and find one so that when you get to the stage where your foundation is ready and your salesperson says, hey, we're about to pour your foundation. I know for us, they've been great. And they were like, hey, we're going to pour your foundation at the end of the month. If you want to have someone else to do your pre-pour inspection, let us know so that we can help you coordinate that for you. So that was really great for us. And we already have someone. We gave it to our broker, our broker actually. And if you need a broker or a realtor, let me know. I'll be more than happy to leave their information in the comments uh, if you're in Texas. Um but yeah, they were able to do some of the research for us so that we didn't have to worry about any of that. They found some people, got the quotes for us. We went back, read reviews. We chose based off of the feedback that was given from both our broker and the reviews that we read online. We've got them hired and they are coordinating with our team over at the builder's office to get dates and times and all that good stuff. We'll show up for about an hour or so, but they'll handle all of that communication for us. So yeah, that's what you can expect after you sign your contract. Uh, it is a little bit of hurry up and wait, but I promise you that even though it may feel like nothing's happening when you drive by your lot, uh, there are some things working in the background. It's just a, a little bit of patience because these things do take time. But get ready because once your foundation is poured, you're going to see your house shoot up like wildflowers and you're going to be like, oh my God, did they build it the right way because it went up so fast? But this part of the process, I understand, is one that takes a little bit longer. And, you know, we're anxious. We're excited. We just put this money down for the house. House and we want to see it go up but trust me it's rather you'd rather let them take their time and do it right than to have them rush through uh, building your home and not get a product that you can be proud of so yeah that's the video for today uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments how's your building process going uh, if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by all oh, the new subbies y'all the best yeah, like y'all are the truth. Y'all make me feel so good about being here. I had no idea what I was doing when I started this. I'm just really documenting and answering questions that I have along the way. But you guys have been so welcoming and so like inviting, even through the mistakes. <coughs> excuse me. Even through the mistakes, like it's been great. Y'all make me feel really good to really show up as myself and just come and share my insight with you all and I'm loving the community that's here so please keep that coming if you're going along a new build journey please let me know in the comments I want to support you as well uh, but until then um, I'm gonna go and get some more rest and I will be back soon with another video bye for now